Are you unsure whether you are common law married? My name is Carl Burkett. I'm an attorney in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I would like to go over the elements of common law marriage and how to prove or disprove one. Um, the elements of common law marriage are pretty simple. The, the big test is to prove whether or not there was a meeting of the minds that both sides were married. So for example, um, let's say John Doe and Jane Smith are living together. They file taxes together. They maybe have a couple kids together, even though kids aren't really necessary for it. Uh, let's say they go on vacation and chine, sign themselves in as a, you know John and Jane Smith. Things like that. Things like that where they hold themselves out to the public at large as having been married. Um, if there's you know friends that uh, can come in and say, yeah, they introduced it as, uh, introduced themselves to us as you know husband and wife, or if. Uh, there's, you know, co-workers who are, yeah, I've always, you know, John's wife, she's great. Um, the flip of that is, you know, if there was never a meeting of the minds, then there was no common law marriage, even if one side believes or wants there to be one. Uh, I had a case not too long ago um, where uh, the other side had filed for a divorce claiming common law marriage, and my client claimed that they were never married. Uh, did a little looking uh, into it, and come find out that there was no, nothing really there to show for it. There was no family or friends that were willing to come up and step up and say, oh yeah, well, yeah, of course they were, they were holding themselves as husband and wife. We always knew that they were married. Uh, a big factor that came into play in that case is that infidelity became an issue and ultimately became uh, one of the deciding factors to determine that there was no common law marriage in place. The rationale being, if you believed yourselves to be married, then you wouldn't be unfaithful. Um, so ultimately it comes down to what actions have you taken to uh, establish and, and present yourselves as a married couple versus, you know, two individuals who care about each other and live with one another. Uh, it, it can get a little dicey, it can get a little messy, but it's absolutely uh, worth looking into if you're in a situation where you believe that you are or could be in a common law marriage. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. You can find us at makelaweasy.com. We're at Worth Law Office. My name is Carl Burkhead. Thank you.